Hello Internet, welcome back. Two decades back when Mahindra decided to launch the Scorpio to compete with uh, Tata Safari, it had many issues related to the drive, handling, aesthetics and also uh, ergonomics. So it was uh, only in 2023 Mahindra decided to launch the Scorpio which is a completely evolved model. Uh, so they tagged in an N and thus the car is called a Scorpio N. Now that car was very boxy in design, previous version and over a period of 20 years it underwent a couple of changes yet it didn't appeal uh, many SUV buyers however there was a small cult of uh, followers of Scorpio so which make this uh, the name Scorpio model really alive so Mahindra decided to launch this car with totally a complete uh, new platform based on uh, TAR and it's a very evolved model it's very revolutionary so I purchased this car in the month of uh, April and done close to around 8,000 kilometers. So I want to share my viewpoint, my ownership experience and other aspects of uh, Scorpio N. So come guys, let's have a look at it. What? The SUV is characterized by having a long bonnet, wider stance, taller stance too. So the Scorpio N Z6 has all the vital design elements. Look at the bonnet, it's very long and also has the beautifully sculpted uh, design on it, which is very uh, prominent too. That is all the four lines, the crease lines, which acts as a muzzle lines. Also, it's in aerodynamic is present on this. So this is my favorite design part again. Added to that is the headlamp design, which is again very sleek. And then on the lower part is the, is the provision for uh, fixing the daytime running lights and the fog lamp. Unfortunately, the Z6 doesn't come with the projector uh, beam technology for LEDs as well as uh, the daytime running lights and fog lamp is absent. In this SUV, what I really like is because there is a lot of silver accents instead of chrome. So if you look at the upper part of the bond of the, you know, the grill, it has got only the silver accents and a matte finish uh, louvers for the air intake. Now then at the lower part of the bumper, again, this is my favorite design part. Look at the design, the honeycomb, uh, honeycomb grill and the black gun with the silver garnish in the front, uh, which is again Fox, uh, you know, skid plate or the front uh, production. So that really exudes the quality of, uh, uh, you know, a sportier look to this car. So that's also my favorite design. Overall, if you from if you look at the front design, the bonnet, the bumpers, the stout stands and all, this really gives it a very proper SUV kind of look. It's very stubby, it's like a strong, it has got a purpose and also it reminds me of uh, Prado, a kind of uh, vibe is there. The side look of the car is beautifully sculpted because it has a lot of meaningful crease lines and muscle lines. And also look at the plastic cladding. Compared to the previous version which had a bulky plastic cladding all over, it's all eliminated now. Instead of that, this car comes with a very sleekly designed plastic cladding which also goes on to the both the door sides with a with the silver accent there above the footboard and then that goes like that and over the wheel arches gets into the rear part of it that's the rear bumper or the exit point so this is something which really gives it a very uh, you know proportionate look now we are talking about the crease lines which start from the front fender can you just look at it how beautifully it goes on from the a pillar and then onto the b pillar then getting into the kink and then merging beautifully into the into the D-pillar. Now another design uh, aspect, what Mahindra has really executed properly is the sting, Scorpio sting. So this is on the quarter glass and then it's in the black finish. Again, this starts from the A-pillar and ends here on the quarter glass. Now this complements with the red color, the black. So I like the uh, black finish rather than the chrome inserts. Big thumbs up for the design team for executing a properly well-proportionate uh, design on the side profile of the car. This is something what I really like. The wheel arches are wide and big. So this is the characteristic of SUV. And then another thing is the company's stock wheels, what it comes, I think it's a 16 inch uh, steel plated disc with a, with a cover over it. The wheel. So I went for the alloy wheels, which is 18 uh, inch design. And then the tires, I went for the 80 the salt terrain wheels because if you go for a more wider tire say around 65 aspect ratio it's going to foul on the on the insulation material on the wheel arch inside the wheel arch 
so this is something what uh, mahindra you know they have missed it and another thing is it's got a very odd pcd so this pcd is 139.7 unfortunately you don't find many designs in the market it's only that either you have to stick with the mahindra provided 18 in or else you have to really score the market to get the best design so this is one uh, shortcoming i can say other than that the footboard is standard in this and then the silver accent is standard then the silver finished roof rail which is not just aesthetically good looking it is also functional is provided as standard so that you can uh, put on a rack and take care of all your traveling needs to some people the rear of the car looks appealing to some they don't like it it somewhere it has got the vibes of the xylo so personally i just like the design of the tail lamps and also this chrome inserts in the bumper it's something which i don't like now another factor is uh, since there is lot of bulge on the sides of the body what happens is when the tires are puny and small it really looks very odd it doesn't look like a, a proper suv so only i went for a wider tires and a 18 inch wheels so if you really go on for upgrading this then it makes sense it makes the car look very butchy at from the back side especially when the car is on the roll so this is my view point on the rear design and then there's a shark fin antenna here and high stop mount light then the rear wiper so all the elements of designs are present it looks nice but again depends on each person but my favorite uh, designing is the front the long bonnet the front uh, properly designed the uh, front design as well as the side profile the back is a mixed bag for me the door just opens to the sideways and as we talk about the interiors let's start from the boot part of it the very small boot so you can just see the boot area it's very small and only uh, you know vertically stacked up uh, luggages we can put in it till you fold the seats now getting into the mid row seat is climbing over the footboard and getting inside the car so you just step in and you sit comfortably inside there is ample amount of leg room the thigh support is excellent the seat doesn't move fore and aft this is a bench seat of course there are no captain seat available in the z6 variant and also it's fabric number 2 uh, the fore and aft movement for the seat is not provided it's only that uh, you can recline the back rest of the seat and uh, once you are in the right position you find it very comfortable to drive over long distances one shortcoming in this is the headroom i find especially since i'm very tall that the headroom is very less so if we if the car is going over a very bad road and then bouncing then there's a tendency for you to touch the roof line however they have given on scoop here that's a signature uh, design of the scorpio all scorpios getting into the car you are greeted by a fantastically sculpted interior and you get a sunroof with a wise and there's an 18 inch infotainment system and it is got an wireless auto android auto and the car play apple car play and this has been given through the very recent update for the uh, run to this car and one good thing what i really like and feel is the knobs they have provided for the air conditioning and also for the power and uh, volume uh, controls as well as the tuning controls for the uh, for the music system this physical buttons gives me more uh, concentration on the road to focus on and then the layout of the dashboard the fit and finish is really very good there are no rattling or any squeaking sound or uh, any uh, loosely fitted part in this it's all well put, well put together and uh, the center console reminds me of the lc200 uh, dashboard uh, layout so it really looks and reeks of quality and the best part in this is it has got an analog dials the for the instrument cluster along with that is an electronic mid which gives you a host of functions and you can uh, control all the features through the steering controls there is also a cruise control standard in this variant and look at the finish and the fit of this box it reminds me of the bmw controls so this is the quality they have not done any kind of uh, cost cutting in the scorpio and uh, they have also included the aero wipers which are quite expensive the scorpio and z6 comes with uh, fabric seats and these seats are uh, well sculpted very comfortable good thigh support there is also a lumbar support adjustment however this z6 lacks the electric adjustment it's all manual but then one ben fantastic thing is the comfort these seats offer i never get tired even driving 600 km on a stretch such is the quality of uh, the seats the fit and finish 
Safety feature wise, this car comes with two airbags. There's an electronic stability programming and uh, they also have given the hill descent control. Then there is a good thing called as uh, hill hold assist. When you're on an incline, just press the brake and just hold for a second. So that's also standard. Which SUV will give you tell me in this price bracket? These features nobody gives. So that is very good in this. Over the new update, what they did onto the software, they've also included uh, the new new uh, navigation map from TomTom, I believe, or else Map My India, which can also mirror onto the MID. Along with that, you can also use uh, the Google Map when you, when the phone gets connected wirelessly to the Android Auto. Yeah. The, the volume of the glow box is very small. And then there are four uh, bottle holders and a good chunky hand grabbing handle for uh, closing the doors. However, this angle is you know a bit uh, weird. Uh, you need to put more effort to close the doors. The fit, the quality, the finish, it's all good. The grain finish on the dashboard, it really gives you a feeling of uh, leather because of the small grains I've used. Only when you touch, you feel that this is plastic. Even though this is art plastic, it's finish and uh, the glow and the and the kind of radiance it gives it is of good quality it gives a good quality feel and there's a fake uh, stitching feel finish onto the running from us uh, the side of uh, the central console which also goes onto the passenger side of uh, the dashboard it's a nice place to be in for the driver and also the passenger will enjoy sitting high up above the ground commanding view one missing component is automatic day night mirrors are not present in this you have to manually adjust it now talking about the engine the z6 manual comes with a 178 horsepower engine this is a 2.2 liter mock engine it's a beautiful engine four cylinder and in this trim that the z6 trim it delivers around 178 uh, horsepower bhp and a torque of around 380 newton meters this is in the manual however 400 newton meters if it's in the automatic transmission this engine is a very good engine very reliable uh, all these years what amok uh, has been uh, plonked into scorpio it has proven to be a very reliable engine running lakhs of kilometers the ride the handling the drive characteristic of the scorpio n is in a different league the previous version of the scorpio struggled when it comes to the ride the drive and handling parameters mainly because being a ladder on chassis uh, built even though this car is also on the same platform that had a very rudimentary suspension now the engineers at mahindra really worked very hard and long and they have given a fantastic suspension on this car that is thanks to the watt sling and then the frequency dependent adapter what it does is it gives you a very plain ride when you're going over a bad road because the suspension in this is stiffened. But the negative side of that uh, stiffened suspension is that at lower speed, the car is really bouncy. Then the watt link is there, which again is used in the Endeavor. In this suspension uh, setup, when you're driving the car on a corner and getting into an apex at a higher speed, you really find it very confident to do so because of that suspension uh, technology. So that is there in the Scorpio N. So all added, what it translates is that on the highway when you are doing very high speed, anything above 100, you feel like you are driving a very high-end car with a very well sorted out suspension. And going over a bad roads also, you find yourself very comfortable. You don't have to really uh, get tensed. Only when you are on a lower speed on a bad roads, then you find yourself tossed around inside the car. Now the engine in this, which is 2.2 litre MOC, it delivers around 175 horsepower and 380 Nm of torque. This, this power is delivered relatively at lower RPM, so which translates into a good drivability. One thing what it lacks is, uh, uh, is the mid-range power, what you, what you could have derived in a previous generation of Scorpio. That surge of power is not there in this, it's very linear. But the plus side is, when you are driving the car, you find yourself doing anything above 100 in no time. So quick it is. So the engine is good. Refinement levels are in a different league again. It's so refined, you don't find any uh, engine noise coming in. 
Yes, there is a kind of boominess and the noise creeping in when you are at a higher RPM. Other than that, the insulation material used in the wheel arches, the engine bay, underpinnings of the car is so good. You don't find the road noise emanating because of the tire and uh, other mechanical elements. The gear ratios in the Scorpio N is very well specced up. But the negative side is the second gear. Please correct me if I'm wrong and uh, I want to see what comments on it. When you're going over a hump, a big hump, or you are taking a drive on an inclination in a second gear, I'm talking only second gear, not the first, huh? there is a tendency of the car, car stalling because it, the engine is not delivering enough torque to the wheel, especially in that uh, second gear ratio. And in the first gear, it just creeps. There is no problem. And the gears are very well specced. The ratios are good. However, the shifting is the, in this car is not very slick. It, but it's much better than other uh, cars like, say, Fortuner and all. Like, uh, the gear shifter is like a sedan, but not very slick. You need to give one second between shifting each gears. Fuel efficiency wise, Scorpio and delivers around uh, a good fuel efficiency of around 14 kilometers relatively. If you are doing around 90 kilometers per speed and not shifting the gears and all, quite often and on the highway. But when you are driving the car in a city condition, in the traffic of the city, you can uh, derive around uh, 9 kilometers per liter. So taking a mean average of around uh, 9 to 10 kilometers is the fuel efficiency in the diesel engine. Now, other thing related to the drive, the performance and all is the modes of drive. At this pricing and, and this kind of segment, Mahindra is really great. They have given a host of features like hill descent control. Then there is a host of safety features like two airbags in the Scorpio N. And then there is a, um, then there is a stability programming, ESP is there. And, uh, and also three drive modes are available. I find it to be, uh, you know, the, to be useful because in the zip zap and uh, the other one is called the zoom. The zoom is the one which will uh, give you the most power. And uh, incremental difference is there between each modes. The best thing I liked in the Scorpio N is the steering. The feel, the tactile feel I get holding this beautifully sculpted steering. It has got a flat bottom and then there is a hint of uh, silver finish. And then there's a glossy uh, feel. Uh, there's a glossy finish too in this. And the horn is very nice. It's like a high-end Hella horn. And uh, there's a thumb contouring on the steering too. So all I read gives you a very sporty feel. And the driving position spot on. You sit upright. The negative side of functionality related to the drive is the brakes. The brakes are very grabby. They don't give you a proper feedback and uh, suddenly it gets over servoed and then you apply the brake and it just jams in at a higher speed. Finds very uh, scary. This is one thing, my observation. My car, I've done around 8,000 kilometers. I've driven so soon. The rotors have developed a uh, warping. Because of that, there is a kind of uh, shudder which happens when you drive, when you're braking the car at higher speed, that's around uh, 100 kilometers. Once the rotor gets heated because of the friction, there's a tendency of uh, the shudder. The shudder starts happening after 30 minutes into the drive and the car really vibrates a lot. That's very uh, unacceptable uh, thing. Maybe because of the poor quality of the rotors, or I don't know. So this Mahindra has to sort. Before I wrap up, here is my verdict on the Scorpio and Z6 variant. Even though this car has certain shortcomings related to the small luggage area and then the third row seat being uncomfortable for larger passengers and couple of electrical and electronic gremlins found in the instrument cluster and on the infotainment system where at times it tends to be blanked which can be taken care by software update from Mahindra this car is fantastic value for money proposition it ticks all the right boxes I, I give a rating of 9 out of 10 personal uh, experience because I have driven 8,000 kilometers in this car. Now, what the best point observations I have is that this car has fantastic drivability and uh, ride manners. Any type of terrain you can take and be peaceful. It just lights over it. Only when you are driving on a slow speed, this is quite bouncy. 
Overall, Scorpio is a car which you can service and maintain relatively, relatively at a lower price. So it's easy on your pocket, cost of ownership is less. I'm sure the resale value will be good. And then it doesn't have any problems. Till date, touch wood, I haven't suffered any problems with this car. The Thar platform built beautifully, designed beautifully, executed properly. This is a car which you can surely go for and buy for your peace of mind. Especially Z6 variant is proper value for money. And also it has certain uh, potential for modding. So what else you want? So guys, hope you like my uh, review on the Scorpio and Z6. And uh, in future, I'll be coming out with more reviews on cars and bikes. I need your support, I need your love. And uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Look forward to see you soon. Take care. Bye. Ciao.